So Hassan Nasrallah has addressed thousands of people in Beirut uh, who responded with celebratory gunshot, um, addressing them on Lebanese television, televised, um, thanking Iran and Yemen and undoubtedly uh, so many people who um, are have sent confused messages and have been unable to unequivocally condemn the terrorism of Hamas because they are confusing that with um, supporting Palestine and worrying about the fate of Palestinians as they suffer the response of Israel to the Hamas killings on October the 7th. Now, any country has a right to self-defense. I have questioned the response of Netanyahu, which I still think is wrong. I have been very clear that uh, the Palestinians are suffering and my heart goes out to them. I have no doubt at all that Hezbollah is a terrorist organization, that Iran under the Ayatollahs is a country that sponsors terrorism, that Yemen uh, is engulfed in a terrorist, um, or has been overtaken by terrorism as well. And I have no doubt about the dangers that we are in at this moment. No doubt at all. Um, it doesn't, there, there isn't um, a principle of right that makes people act correctly. And that's a division which I think is important. Um, I think Netanyahu's government has acted appallingly in the same way as I think Putin's government has acted appallingly. There is a difference, of course, between the two. Putin invaded. Putin is wholly evil. Netanyahu was responding to a, an evil and vicious and atrocious and appalling attack. That's the difference. But we are in a situation where um, ordinary civilians and soldiers and governments are caught in adversarial combat. And people are, people are suffering. They don't know when the end of this is going to come. If Hezbollah is actively involved in this conflict, this is going to make this significantly worse. What more can I say?